Well, new at six, good news tonight for the region's struggling metro system. Hitachi Rail just unveiling a new factory in Hagerstown will build hundreds of new 8,000 series rail cars. Bruce Lashan explains how this will affect riders across our region. The whole yes, thing will be yes. like outside yeah. of the Irish. Too. Looking for luck, Maryland's governor and metro leaders filled yeah, in one eye on a Japanese Daruma doll as they celebrated the new factory that will build as many as 800 new rail cars. The rescue train's gonna be now. Metro's older 7,000 series cars are still under investigation by the NTSB for a mysterious issue that can lead their wheels to spread apart and derail. But the new cars will be built by Hitachi, not Kawasaki. And Metro says there is no reason to think that they will have the same problem. We're going to take all the lessons learned for the 7,000s and put those to work in the 8,000s, just like you know any responsible uh, kind of transit agency does. This $70 million Hagerstown factory is slated to start delivering new rail cars late in 2025. Metro has already contracted for 256 of them at a total cost of up to $2.2 billion. The new cars will have onboard Wi-Fi, digital direction signs, heated floors, regenerative braking, and high-def security cams. These new cars, when they start coming in, people are going to say, wow, that's first class. Metro admits with a lot of its fleet still on the sidelines, it is having trouble with delays and crowding like after Monday night's Capitals game. We understand that a lot of our customers are frustrated with, with some crowding going on right now. We're doing everything we can to bring more 7,000 series back into operation. Metro's GM says he hopes to have more info on that later this week. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.